Hello everyone, this is Bentley from Kent, Washington, and I wanted to show off a, a tank that I've never shown before that I just did a like massive replanting on. So this is a 20 gallon long um, Endler and Mickey Mouse Platy tank that's in my room. And uh, you can see our good friend Cycles there, he was on Duckweed Patrol um, before the replant occurred. And he's actually going to be leaving this tank soon because he's done his job. But uh, this used to be full of Java Moss and uh, Kabamba, and I, I ripped it all out because I had, I just kind of got tired of it. It was getting a little too insane and a little too dense. Um, and as you can see now, it's, it's all crypts. So this is all for the most part, uh, Crypt Blasii, and then a little bit of Crypt Spiralis up front. Um, and you can see it's just like, even up front, those little crypts that look more like Parva or, or something else, that's all Blasii, <laughs> every bit of it. So while it's uniform, um, it's just a ton. There's something like, I think I, I counted uh, almost 50 crowns of just the Blasii alone in this tank, or uh, sorry, rosettes is the, the correct term. Um, so that just tells you how many crypts are planted in this tank, and then there's like three Spiralis or four. Uh, not a ton, just a little bit for something a little extra up top that'll kind of span out across the, the top of the water and, and do some stuff. And then you can see just this big group of uh, Endlers and Guppies kind of all mixed. It's kind of a mutt tank. Um, but when I had pulled all the plants out at first and then uh, let my... I had done like a, a pretty big water change and was cleaning my filters and then letting my filter clean up all the water after stirring all the gunk up... Um, I had to thin this tank down there. So what, what there is now is nothing. There were easily 300 fish in this 20 long. And that, that probably sounds insane until you hear like, I have the sponge filter, uh, regular water changes, but I also have a, a Fluval 306 <laughs> on this thing, um, filtering a 20 long. And then there's, there's a big uh, sponge on the intake as well. And it, so it's it's really filtered to deal with the bio load. It has it's just jammed full of um, extra sponges and ceramic media to give it a really really good and high bio capacity. Uh, you see me jumping over here just to kind of get closer to see some of the plants a little closer. And, and cycles is gonna <laughs> just be in the center of like every shot. But part of what I wanted to talk about more than just like showing this little tank that's in my bedroom. Normally I don't really show the tanks in my bedroom just because they're um, they're kind of like weird little, little pet projects for myself. They're, they're more about like, um, giving me something to relax to, um, and then just stare off and, and when I'm staring off into space, thinking about random things, it gives me something to look at and enjoy. Uh, this tank in particular is quite literally right beside my bed and I, I watch it at night before I go to sleep. Um, and, uh, my, I, I really love it just cause it's just army of color with all the guppies and you can kind of see... And it, in a sec, we'll zoom in even closer, but you can see like these little clouds of babies in certain spots and that's nothing. I mean, there is, there were, there's even more that are down like along the substrate hiding that are really hard to capture with my cell phone. But, um, I want to talk a little bit about building rapport with your local fish store. And, and what does that mean? Um, so my example here is that I got all of these crypts. All of this, so keep in mind, like I said, about 50 plants total for $20. And Blasii isn't exactly a common crypt. Um, it's not rare, but it's not something that's common in a store like Parva, Lutea, Lucens, and uh, Wentii. But I got all this stuff for 20 bucks. Do you imagine getting this many plants for $20? That's a steal, right? Well, part of this has to do with my rapport with my local fish store, which many of you know, my local fish store is not the closest fish store to me, but um, I go, I'm, I'm lucky enough to have aquarium co-op within a reasonable driving distance to me. So I go to aquarium co-op. Um, I've been going there for, uh, you know, a little over a year or so, and I have very good rapport with the staff there. Uh, as well as Corey, the owner, even though he spends a lot more time doing YouTube and not as much in the shop. Um, and here you can see it kind of zoomed in just how many babies and then just the kinds of endlers and stuff that are in here. Um, it's just a, a, a rainbow array of color. But um, 
when I was taking all these fish in, first off, I called them ahead of time, and they, I've, they've had enough time to get used to me, and I started by bringing in plants, and then eventually, as I was breeding fish, I would bring in fish, and I started small. So, like, my first batch of endlers that I brought in was only 20 endlers, and I had, like I said, easily, at that time, 200 in this tank. <laughs> so I had plenty, but I wanted to give them some to let them see the quality of the fish that I had, the, the, the color that I'm going to be bringing them in as, and... Um, you know, just let them like, hey, I, I didn't care about how much credit I was getting. Uh, and, and, you know, they treat me pretty well because I'm in there enough. I spend enough money in the shop that, you know, they treat me pretty well. And they know that I'm just going to keep coming back. So why does this matter? First off, if you want to do uh, breeding fish for profit, the most important thing, uh, if you have a local, if you're trying to do it with a fish store, is to show not only that you want to work with the store, but also that you're dedicated to a specific store. Uh, and Corey talks about this in one of his videos. I would highly suggest watching his Breeding for Profit series. It's very, very informative. Um, but things like the, the deal I got on the Crips, and also like when I brought in all these endlers, and in the I had stopped counting at 150, and that didn't include the fry, and there was easily like 50 fry in there, plus, plus more fish than the 150. Um, Initially, the first time I brought in the endlers, the, you know, the, we had this price that we'd settled on, and we kind of re-talked about it. And then when I brought them all in, and they were fishing out of the bucket, looking at like the size and health of them overall, and I just told them, "Don't count the fry. Don't worry about that." They gave me more credit than normal, and part of that was because they know that they know that the quality and health of the fish that I'm giving, based on previous stuff that I've done with them, how often I come in. And my willingness to tell them in other fish, like for example, I sold some uh, Bozmani rainbow fry to them. And I just told them, hey, if you have any customers that have any questions, feel free to give them my email. You guys know my information. Feel free to give that to them. If they need any help, they have any questions about how to take care of rainbows, how to raise them, how to breed them, anything. They're more than welcome to reach out to me. I'll be glad to help them. And I think that is something that's really important. That willingness to, especially if you want to breed for profit, take that line and go a little bit farther than just i'm trying to do this for money but trying to build your local store up as well does that make sense i hope it does because <laughs> um, that's kind of there's this great lesson i was taught a long time ago from a uh, old professor when i was back in college and it's the the next best job is sitting right beside you and what that lesson means in the grand scheme of things is that it matters more about your ability to network with people than it does what you know. And I take that same approach in fish, where my goal is to go in to network good friends and good people and be willing to help while also getting help at the same time. And using that network to not only do better things for my, my projects, like getting more money than I was expecting for my fish or getting this insane deal on Cryptocorn, right? Um, but using that kind of an application in the entirety of my life. Anyway, I just want to show this off and, and kind of talk about, you know, having good rapport with your store. Be awesome. Have a great weekend, my friends. Thank you very much for watching.